In this video I'll be going over how to export normal mouse from ZBrush. So let's take this model for example. Here's a high res. That's a low res. You have to make sure that your low res already has UVs. So you can always uh, export it back to Maya, unwrap it and bring it back in. Or you can do that within uh, ZBrush using uh, UV Master, which is a plugin you can download from PixLogic.com. Um, so let's say for example you do have normal, um, your model unwrapped already. What you can do is select the resolution you wish to take back to Maya. Uh, for my case, I want to use um, the lowest version right here. Some people like to use a higher version, some people like to use a lower one. I want to use the slowest one right here. I'm going to go underneath uh, UV map first, select the desired resolution. So if I want 4096, for example, I can bake out 4096. I generally recommend um, using the highest available resolution, that way you can always scale down. Then if you scroll down, you'll see Normal Map. If I click Open Normal Map, you'll see this little box open. I can click on Tangent. Tangent is the one you want to use. And depending if you're using uh, Maya or Max, you might change some of these things right here. Uh, typically for uh, Max, you might have to flip a G, mainly because Max uses positive X, negative Y, positive Z for Normal Maps, whereas uh, Maya uses positive X, positive Y, positive Z. Once you have all that set, you'll click Create Normal Map. See this little thing, it'll create the normal map for you, and you'll see a little image here. What you need to do from there is go to Clone NM. This will switch this all the way over here, and it'll texture drop out box. Typically, normal maps are flipped or reversed inside uh, ZBrush, um, so what you might have to do is go to Texture, go to Flip V, and then you can export it. Once you export it, just like so, go to Texture. Export, you can choose a location you want to export this. Either it's PSD, BMP, or TIFF. Once you have that, then you have your image. You can always flip it back or forth inside uh, Photoshop, and if the uh, Flip G didn't work as well as you were hoping, then you might want to take it back into Photoshop and unflip G. By doing that, you go to uh, the Layers tab, where you have all your image, has all the layers. You can go to Channels, and under Channels, you want to select G. There's a G channel. You click on that channel, make sure nothing else is selected, and just press Control-I. That'll invert that channel, giving you a, uh, the positive version of that, and you can save that out.